Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm pushing like this whole rich auntie vibes like with this thing, with this scarf. I mean, it's summertime. Yeah, you know, anyway. Um, so I wanted to film this video and round up the year with this particular one because I did say I am going to film this and here we are. We are going to be doing some of my favorite holy grail makeup items that are more on the higher end side of things and i did say i was gonna film it when i did the lower end one so here we are we're doing it today it's quite hot today i don't even want to lie i don't know if this top was a good idea but hey here we are hey hey here we are so i'm going to be showing you some of my favorite things like things that i absolutely love to such a point that I repurchased them. A lot of them I really repurchased. I had to be particular with what I really, really like and what I buy over and over again because I did notice I've got more higher end makeup than I do uh, lower end makeup, but that's fine. You know, that's fine, these what it is. So I'm going to be showing you in order of how I apply my makeup, as I normally say. With some categories, I'm quite, I'm not going to buy a 800 Rand mascara when there's a uh, 100 Rand mascara that does the same thing. So with mascara, I don't have a high-end mascara. I choose not to. Um, so with certain categories, I just won't have anything. And that's fine. You know, that's fine. We're just gonna get started, shall we? All right, so first things first, brows. <laughs> this is all I'm going to tell you about brows because I only use one product for my brows and this is the MAC pencil in uh, the eyebrow styler crayon that's what they call it now in spiked i've always used it i've never had a problem with it i like to particularly use pencils for my brows as opposed to using uh pomade or all those kinds of things i just opt for pencils most of the time i do like the um, i just don't have it with me i finished it the benefit brow pencil as well i really really like that i've used that one as well a couple of times but honestly my holy grail always go back to it is the mac brow pencil i love it i love it okay and then next is concealer now i'm a little bit <laughs> i love concealer this is what i'm gonna say with some of these categories there's going to be a lot of products like in concealer right now i've got four concealers yeah, four that I repurchased over and over again and I thought to show you. So the first one is my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium Deep. Now you will see that two colors have been overused and it's because those are my favorite colors. But I just basically wanted to show you what it looks like. This is the Pro Conceal um, and Correct Palette. I love it because it's got the colors for correcting as well for hyperpigmentation so your yellows and your orange and all of that i really love it it's great because this is a everything every color concealer color in one kind of vibe and you can take it with you everywhere great for travel when i travel i really like this one um i don't want to open the fresh one that i have because i still feel like there's four colors here that i can make do with and i shouldn't i shouldn't waste i shouldn't and waste then my next favorite which i absolutely love uh got a couple of these in different shades as well but i just pulled out one to show you today this is the mac pro Longwear concealer as well i love this one absolutely oh my god oh my god this one i love it it's liquid i have to kind of shake it up because it hasn't been I haven't used this in quite a while but it's liquid it's easy it blends seamlessly i absolutely love this one and it's in a glass bottle so if you're somebody who's quite clumsy <laughs> i would not recommend i would not recommend and then two really really good concealers as well one again is from mac and this is the studio fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer this is what is sitting in my um this is what's sitting in my makeup bag right now uh my everyday makeup bag i use this one just to shape my brows and i also use it to um i put it on my lids before i apply my eyeshadow because it is the perfect blending color for my skin tone so i really really like this one and then in the winter time for something a little bit more on the thicker side i don't like too thick but this one really really works well in the winter time this is the bobby brown instant full cover concealer i really really like this one for the winter time i love oh my god <laughs> 
I love the these two are by far my favorite ones if I were to recommend that you get any two these are my favorite ones the Mac one my shade is I took NC 45 because my Mac studio fix color is NC 47 is it 49 47 Okay, I think uh, we'll check just now I've got it in, in as foundation and then the Bobbi Brown concealer the shade is golden these are really really lovely and they are faves so in the concealer department I absolutely love all of these ones get them cop them spoil yourself when you feel like spoiling yourself do that do that so after concealer for me is foundation now I'm not too crazy on primer uh, my skin is great and i haven't had an issue with my skin for a long time and whether i use primer or not it's foundation still sits the same way with me it's not like i feel much of a difference if i'm not wearing primer blah. so i skip to um foundation after concealer and i've got a lot and i had to i literally had to pick the faves I really had to this was a hard one because I love foundation and I've mentioned this before on my channel a lot and I've got maybe probably about 15 high-end <laughs> foundations but I really love them and I use them quite a bit so here we go the first one is one you've seen me use on my channel quite a bit and I feel like I need to repurchase this I love it so much this is the urban decay stay naked weightless liquid foundation it is gorgeous and this one I believe is also vegan my my shade in this is 71 nn I love this Ooh, I'm wearing it today Ooh, it's the perfect foundation for me I feel like I've kind of gone star crazy gaga crazy over this foundation because it's all i wear it's all i wear and i feel like it's gonna finish on me one day without me paying attention and i'm gonna need another one so i need to cop another one very quickly before before i run out of this but i absolutely love this it's not completely matte it's just it's got a little bit of a sheen to it which we love and it's full coverage it, it covers everything covers everything makes you look smooth beautiful doing the things we absolutely love that one and from the Estee Lauder family I love both of them so I love double wear and double wear nude so double wear nude is what I wear around the summertime this is double wear nude and my shade in this is rich caramel and I wear this around the summertime that's why I picked up this one so I could show you I wear this one a lot around the summertime because it's lighter Whereas double wear, double wear is quite heavy. If you know, you know. And this one is also, uh, it dries matte, but not as drying as, uh, what is this? Uh, double way as normal double way but it is so so good it's a fave of mine feels lighter much lighter on the skin uh, um compared as compared to double way but it is so good so good and i love them with pumps it doesn't come with the pump but you can buy a pump they're like 50 bucks or something like that i normally buy the pumps when i buy the foundation i just get the pump at the same time and i love them Price point on these two are probably around the 600 Rand mark, 500, 600 Rand mark. We love, we love. A beloved foundation for so many people. Honey, so many people, and that includes me. This is the Lancome Ton Idol Ultra Wear. We love her. 24 hour and comfort and retouch free. This is what this one looks like. Listen, listen. My shade in this is number 10 and I love this one. It is not matte. It's more of a, a glowy sort of, not glossy like shine shine, but it's more of a glowy finish, but it really covers everything. Also full coverage. You will notice with my foundations, I go full coverage. I don't go skin like, I don't go what I, I, I could, I could, but I always prefer full coverage foundations and I, I just like the flawless look. For me, I just really, really like the flawless look. This one does just that. It's beautiful. It's radiant. You know, if you're looking for a radiant foundation, this one does that. 
quite well. Love that one. Treat yourself to that. I think that's also around the 700 Rand mark. I don't know. If you're starting out into higher end, well, mid, mid range to higher end foundations, I definitely recommend you try this one first. This is the also beloved MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. Everybody knows this one okay everybody knows this one also it does not come with a pump i buy a pump every single time i purchase the foundation and my shade is nc47 here we go my shade is nc47 my concealer shade with mac is nc45 or even sometimes 43 but you know that's that's this one i'm trying to go real light under my eyes um this one perfect for somebody who is new to foundation um and you're new to higher end foundation if you want a, a slightly more reasonable price point definitely suggest you try this one out it is a matte foundation but it is beautiful it is full coverage covers up everything it's a great starter pack foundation to get into foundations higher end foundations it's really really good and it's just it's just a lovely foundation it lasts all day and it's one of those foundations that you can it, you can wear this as an everyday foundation it's dependable you know it's one of those that you can just wear every single day keep it moving and leave it at that another one that i'm running out of my last one to show you is the tom ford traceless perfecting foundation my color in this is number nine sienna as you can see as you can see <laughs> i'm almost out of this one so but i absolutely love this one as well i uh, first time i used it before repurchasing it again the first time i used it was shortly after my trip from italy and then i repurchased another one and i think this one is my third one but sits so well they, this one i think is just in a thousand rand it's probably like 900 rand 800 rand somewhere there but it's a really really great foundation this is if you want to spoil yourself um yeah it is not matte it's also that glowy just sort of like radiant elegant look you know just a little bit of a, a little bit of glow but not too much not shine you know but it's also not matte at the same time a really great foundation which i highly recommend you try on the day you choose to spoil yourself okay so uh, for me two powders that i use religiously i did not want to pull out the other ones because i was just like but i don't use them as much as i do these and i really want to show you these so here we go the first one is a like homemade brand it's a homemade <laughs> it's a home brand everybody knows this this is the mac mineralized msf mineralized skin finish uh powder in dark this is what i wear that's what it looks like and then when you open it that's pretty much what it looks like that's what i've got on today love this because it leaves little traces of like sparkly flecks as well so you're not completely dry down but at the same time like at a certain angle of light you kind of look like you're glowing <laughs> it's beautiful it really is one of the nicest powders that i've used and i've probably in in my makeup life purchased over 10 of these like ah, 10 is even smaller eh? maybe 15 of these because i love it as an everyday powder this is what's currently in my makeup kit right now and then another powder that i can use on my face but i typically use just under my eyes just after i conceal to set my concealer i use this one so i can use it all over my face but i choose how i use it and this is the bobby brown sheer finish press powder in number eight which is soft honey Look at how much lighter it is. Okay? Okay, do you see that? Okay? I've hit pan on this, but I always have backups of my favorite powders and, and concealers and all of that because I never, never want to ever run out of these because I just, I love them that much. But this is really good. It's good for all over my face because it's more of like a, uh, it's more translucent sitting, so it doesn't necessarily like it's not going to make me look real real super light it's just translucent so it looks really good but underneath my eyes looks even nicer because it just hits hits it just makes it a lot brighter and we love that we want to look like we woke up like this we really want to we really want to look like we woke up like this and this powder does that 
so so good i feel like the mac one for the face really lovely around the summertime it's exceptional and then this one also also really really good we absolutely love them so, so for bronzer for me only one thing and i pretty much i'm sure if you've been following this channel for a long time you will know that for bronzer i love bobby brown bronzing powder in deep in number four which is deep this is pretty much what it looks like this is what i have bronzed with today i typically don't contour i don't do hard contours and all of that i'm not trying to i'm not i'm not trying to look chiseled and all of that i don't, I don't have time for that however I like to have my face look like it's got a bit of definition. I really, really like that. And this does that for me. Like I said in my previous video where I talk about bronzing powders, the Palladio one is the closest one to this. And I love this. I feel like you should cop this. Really, I feel like you should get this, try it out, and then thank me later. Honey! Later. And after that, right. Then after that, it is, of course, highlight. And for me, highlight, my favorite brands in terms of highlights are these two. I love Bobbi Brown and I love uh, MAC for highlighters. Now, Bobbi Brown, I love their Shimmer Brick Compacts. Um, I can't find my one color, The I think it's called Golden. I forgot what it's called. I, I can't find it because I can never really find my makeup. Uh, but this one is the one called Bronze. And I've had this one for the first one I got years ago. Probably like three or four years ago. And then there's this one which I probably maybe got well over a year ago. But I... Woo! Woo! This is... That's, that's what I've got on today. You know if you want... A really a clean elegant kind of highlight not if you want just really a nice soft one you're winning here you really really are then Mac has really great great highlighters uh, the ones that I picked up to show you now this is a mineralized skin finish in gold deposit I'm pretty sure everybody who is um, familiar with Mac I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with Mac is familiar with gold deposit really really now this is a kapam kind of highlight that's that it's just if i did this and i went like this it would it, it it would spice it up it's just that i can't see it's too far away but it would spice it up quite a bit and make me and it's really good some people use it as um eyeshadow as well so it's really really nice if you want that very golden sparkly i'm um, gleaming look you can even use it as an eyeshadow. It's so, so, so good. And then um, another one that I just pulled out to show you is also Global Glow. It's all, oh, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's a little bit on the icier side as opposed to true gold, like gold deposit, but also very good. Fenty also has some great highlighters as well. Uh, I just pulled out Mean Money and Hustler Baby. These are the kilowatt highlighters. Fenty has great, Fenty has great stuff, okay? Um, this is the Fenty highlighter that I absolutely love. Those are the highlighters. That's so many. So but I picked up five. Just to show you that my... <laughs> We love eyeshadow here in this house, okay? Um, and I picked up five of, uh, okay, I got two Urban Decay ones. So my favorite Urban Decay ones are these ones currently. Uh, Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. I like to keep my eyeshadow very clean, matte. I don't like to do too much with my eyeshadow. It's a little bit messy, but don't judge it. I don't know. I feel like Hanya was playing with this at some point. I really do when she was younger but I haven't used this one in quite a while but really 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 great 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 eyeshadow and the one that I picked up for myself and for my sister is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette and this has the most stunning colors what do you even mean it's so beautiful so so I mean okay wait look at those colors look at the can you see those colors it's so insane we love that i picked this one up for me and my sister some time ago and i have not even dented playing with some of the other colors i've probably used maybe only two okay not two maybe four 
four or five. The rest I really haven't touched. Tarte also has really good uh, palettes. There's this one, which is the Tarte Lit Palette. This is what I've got on my eyes today. I have this palette on my eyes today, and it's absolutely stunning. It's gold. It's gleaming. Uh, my favorite one is the other one, which is the Toasted Palette, the black one. But I opted to come down with this one today because I wanted to show you what I have on my eyes. Okay, Juvia's Place has pretty much the best eyeshadows on the market. I absolutely love Juvia's Place. And this one is uh, the Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette. How beautiful is this eyeshadow palette? It's so, so pretty. Oh my god, my favorite colors are the blue and the green and the gold. Oh my god, and the yellow. I love, love, love this eyeshadow palette. My sister tried to steal it from me one day and I said, ah. What you're not gonna do no and then if you really truly do want to treat yourself you can get yourself some tom ford eyeshadow palettes eyeshadow colors <laughs> eyeshadow colors um my favorite one being this one which is cognac sable it's got four colors clean you want a clean look you don't want to do too much this is exceptional with that um we love tom tom ford <laughs> we love tom ford. and then lipsticks second to last is lipsticks I kind of go crazy with lipsticks. I pick what I want, but I'm here to show you some of my favorite brands. So if you're going to start out into buying slightly more expensive lipsticks, of course, your uh, first point of call should be MAC. MAC has great lipsticks. And these two, I just pulled out any old two. So I pulled out Stone and Spirit, both from MAC, both colors that I really, really love, exceptional colors. Um, and I love MAC lipsticks. I feel like we all love MAC lipsticks. There's satin ones, there's matte ones, there's retro matte ones, there's uh, amplified, there's satin finishes. There's just so many lipsticks you can pick from, from MAC. Um, Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder also has great variety of lipsticks as well. These are two Estee Lauder lipsticks that I really, really enjoy. This is from the Pure Color Love. Pure Color Love lipstick range. Um, I feel like the packaging, I mean, hang on, let me show you. The packaging on this is it's just, it's sick. It's sick, okay? And look at that lipstick. I've barely used this lipstick, but look at that color. Woo! We love it. 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 And then, of course, there's Bobbi Brown. This is one of my favorite colors from Bobbi Brown. This is Slopes, number 36. That's what it looks like is your bobby brown lipsticks really nice love this one for the winter time i don't even I, I even forgot that i have that one really um and then of course i am also a fan of tom ford lipsticks which this is a splurge really you don't need to you don't need to i i'm pretty sure I'll, i've got like maybe about four or five of them because it's just really not necessary okay um this is a pink dusk so I just picked the uh, I just picked one out of uh, the, the 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 Tom Ford lipsticks just to show you, but pretty, so pretty with a brown lip liner. It's a win. It's a win, honey. And then of course the liquid lipsticks you can pick from whatever. Mac has great ones, and Anastasia Hills from this end also has great ones. I mean, you can pretty much go with anything. Anything. And then <laughs> this has been a long video. Damn, thirty minutes long. Last but not least. Gotta set, you gotta set your makeup, don't you? Let me set it right now. Whoops. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. We've got Glam Glow and MAC Fix Plus. I've always talked about them. These are the things that I pull out. The things that I pulled out today are things that I use. I did not want to pull out things that I do not use because then it just then it just feels weird. Okay, like I, it feels like I'm lying to you. I don't know where the cap is on this, but the Glam Glow Glow Starter uh, Makeup Setting Spray is exceptional, exceptional. And then of course the Mac Fix Plus is a ride or die. We love her. We love her so so much. Yes. Okay. That's pretty much it for me. Um, those are some of my favorite makeup 
holy grail products that i absolutely love if you've got some that you share in common with me let me know down below until the next one i will see you very very soon i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe join the channel click the notification bell to see when i upload and i'll see you in the next one Mwah. sayonara